Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the My Name and Terry's Moon. I'm not Changer Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about situations and how to conduct yourself in a situation. Now, you go through situations every day. Situations are realms of realities. Situations are orbs. Situations are round. Situations are female. Situations um, are, are absorbs vibrations. Everything is a drain. So, you automatically get drained by a situation. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm explaining to you what it exactly is. It's right brain. A situation... You see the outcome and the physicality of a situation based upon your circumstances and the people, places, and things that's involved with it. But you can't actually see a situation. You can only see it with your your soul body. I mean, your soul eye, your one eye, your first eye, your third eye. Anytime you realize something, that's utilizing your third eye. So a person who has a calcified third eye is a person who's who who is hard at, is hard at realizing anything. Certain shit, common sense. Certain shit you can't see with these two eyes. Like a cheater, you could look and a, and a, you could see a person getting cheated on. And if you see this person, they can't realize they're getting cheated on. This is a person with a calcified third eye. So you are, but you're trained to think that that's not your third eye. So, so. And then when you go on the internet, you read a, you go look up third eye, and it's a bunch of examples that have nothing to do with you actually using your third eye. And then they make you think that's your third eye, and then you think you have to do all these other type of shits to. So eventually, it's all truth in every lie. So eventually, whatever they have you do, eventually you'll start to realize how to use your third eye, and AKA real lie. But um, your ability to see a situation is is only you can only use your third eye. And a circumstance that has got manifested into density from that situation is when you start to use your left brain. You start to give it lines and shapes and squares. You start to logically try to understand that situation, that circumstance, that 360. So you put that circle in a square now. Now it's a square circle. So now you can actually see that situation with these two eyes now. When you start to use your left brain and logically. so And how you do that is you start to logically pinpoint the people, places, and things and this and the and the surroundings that's involved with the right brain part of it, the situation. So your left brain is always trying to decipher what your what, what your right brain is receiving, and then your uh, left and then your right brain is always trying to decipher what your left brain is coming up with. So when you want to talk about a situation, now let's, let's talk about um, the situation itself and the words that's used into the language. Now, first of all, let's talk about the Asian. Asian is made up by a, a language, um, specifically the English language, and is is derived from nation. Now, nation, um, when you spell it, it starts with N. N means you're in something. So you're in a Asian. So when you put it together, a nation. So what does a nation do? A nation is a, a group of celestial beings or uh, beings or bodies in, in general that's that appear to cling on to the same thing you see what I'm saying and all and all accept the the terms and conditions of being together on an idea aka spirit a frequency and vibrate on the same level aka utilize your soul and experience the same line of events of that frequency and then those things are be able to be derived to be made to matter and be made physical now that intellectual being is the one that rules that now English language now when we talk about um when we when we want to talk about as far as nation and and where the Asian came out of it now when we want to now you're in now and then Shin means as walk together so to build to rebel against another this is why the Shin is is correlated with Uranus and it deals with change, opposition, and rebellion. Now, the situation, we want to start from the first of it. So you're sitting in a nation. Well, so let's cut the nation part off. So you're sit you sitting, you're you. So who you are is that's where you sitting, that's where you're placing yourself. So you come second, we know that's part of the soul. So off the bat, uh, you're relating yourself and you're sitting in a orb, a 360, 
a, a circumstance, a situation. So, every here's here's what you're getting trained to do in this society. You're getting trained to situate yourself. Put yourself in a situation. You see what I'm saying? Now, here's here's why you get tired. Because a situation creates you're sitting. Anytime you're sitting down too long, you have to get up, right? So, on your spirit and soul, in a, in a, in a yin realm, in a situation, if you're sitting in that situation with your spirit and soul too long, your spirit starts to get restless. Then your soul starts to emotionally feel restless. Then eventually you start having to express with this body that you're tired of that situation in some, t some type of way. So before you even reach the physical, you automatically start manifesting a way your spirit automatically start manifesting a circumstance for you to get out of that situation because if you can't see it with your physical form to get out of that situation then just by the way the universe works is going to do something to, is going to do something for you to transform that situation now let's look at your situations in general now here's why you may be tired of your relationships you may be tired of your job you may be tired of uh, certain ways that your kids may be acting, maybe uh, siblings, pa your parents, you may be tired of certain. Now, here's when we talk about situations. Now, when you try to get situated, you're in, you're raised in a society to make you think that be getting situated is actually a good thing. But when you stay in a situation too long, uh, here's what's happening. We know as a natural universal law that um, anytime you cling on to any stagnant energy and there's no transformation there the universe is moving daily so that's a universal law so if you if you are doing something that's not in movement then you're breaking a universal law and by you breaking that universal law you're going to experience negative attributes from that and negative attributes by not letting go in certain in certain circumstances so when you think about all your situations right the the main reason Things become an issue because you've been in that situation too long. So I don't, it don't matter if you're in a relationship and you love somebody to the bottom of your heart. If the situation hasn't took form of transformation in any type of form, then what? And getting into that nation where things transform, then your spirit is going to start experiencing stag stagnation, and it's going to create circumstances and situations without your physical. The, the, the make that situation transform then you're going to be right and if you're a person who cling on to earth and 3d and the physical forms vessel so much it's going to be a lot of things that take you by surprise you're going to be asking like why this happened to me and this that and the third see because you, you you're not seeing and a lot of times you get circumstances your spirit is seeing you circumstances in your life to make you kind of get the idea that things need to switch up and change but if you don't do it that means you cling it too much onto the earth aspect so look check this out now as a, as a situation in general that you in um this is why it's important if you're in a relationship this, and this is another reason why pluto is opposite to taurus because taurus is fixed earth and um Fixed earth represent, represents being fixated on his own way of thinking and being practical, which ultimately is common sense. Taurus rules the five senses. Um, and then in both realms, which is smell, touch, taste, hear, see. So they do that on both levels. They can see you physically. They can see your appearance. This is why they focus on what you're wearing and, and, you know, and stuff like that. But at the same time, they can, they can utilize that to see what kind of person you are. So you see, that's that's right and left brain. Boom, Tauruses, they like food, so they like to eat, they like to, but they also have good taste and things. See, so that's right and left brain. You see what I'm saying? Tauruses, uh, masters of the five senses, they, get, they feel, so they like to feel good fabric, soft things, they like to be comfortable, but at the same, but at the same time, the stuff that they do, people feel it. And you can, and they feel you. You know what I'm saying? It's just they they may show it in a, a material way, but that's how they feel you as a representation. They may give you something that they like, that they own, and since they know how you think that they feel about this thing, the point that they giving this to you, you should feel appreciated to it and value it on both. See, both levels. You know what I'm saying? So that that's just getting down. Um, just like they they smell they like things that smell good colognes perfumes Tauruses like good smells but at the same time they good at sensing they good at sensing with something wrong so there's both realms right and left brain so but a lot of times they stay fixated on this 
And if you stay fixated on this for too long, yeah, you understand this realm, but you start to not think about uh, spirit and, 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 and things that need to be transformed. You start to get fixated on your own common sense and your sense of awareness. And then that's why it's opposite to Pluto. Pluto will bring a, trans, a, bring a situation into, uh, by it being naturally opposite to uh, Taurus, it'll bring a situation in their life where uh, they may not have their parents or, or their home life may, or their foundation or their stability may crumble to the point it makes them learn that put their, they put their senses in somewhere else other than the natural senses of the earth. You see what I'm saying? So that's where that's where you get the deep spiritual Tauruses when they really been through something in their life because the stability that they was on got transformed to some type of way. So we know this is the natural uh, laws that need to be aware. Okay, I guess I still got time to be aware to know what's going on. So at the same time, at the same time, this is what you need to understand about a situation. So even if you're in a relationship and uh, amount of months it been going good still try to think to yourself to add some type of transformation or something just switch up even if y'all been eating something for so long switch up be like let's start trying this this is always important to add transformation to your situation because that that if you are going to be in a situation look at it like an orb look at it like a bubble right and if you are transforming it then that that bubble is able to expand and move but if, if you or if you place your, if you go into a situation, aka go into a bubble, a or a sphere, and you just stay in that, and stay in that because it's comfortable at the time. Eventually, it's gonna want to move or expand. And if you're not able to see that in your realm of reality, it's gonna become a situation where it's gonna come smaller and smaller and smaller, and without no and smaller, that's less space, less space, and less space causes suffocation, and suffer and and the spirit hates being suffocated. It's too much space out here to be confined in one space, and spe especially a small space. So your spirit gonna get suffocated, and then your soul vi can't vibrate, very can't vibrate in a in a small space. The vibration gonna be very tight. You ain't gonna be able to vibrate high. So it's gonna be very tight. So you always gonna be vibrating low. You see what I'm saying? This is why, this is why where that come from, where the sand come from when you're around a person too long, uh, you just start finding disagreements with each other, just start arguing. And, and then you go back and be like, dang, why was I arguing with this person? It's not that you didn't like this person or this, that, and the third. Just nine times out of ten, your spirit was tired of the, that energy. And it will start getting suffocated. So it start, it start creating circumstances and situations and feelings and emotions, a.k.a. going through your, putting your soul in realms of realities to get ready to start expressing circumstances of you need a little bit of separation. So you can breathe for your space can widen up a little bit and breathe. So this is the basic, <clears throat> this is the basic concept of how you're supposed to look at situations. It's a 360, and how wide or small your 360 is going to be depends on you. So make sure you, you you're, make sure you're not allowing other people's spaces to overcome your space or suffocate your space, because you're always going to need room. And you having a, a a low consciousness mind, like I said, you probably looking at it like, oh, it's just all space. No, it's space is within space, and the higher higher you up. You see, like you see how you in a house and you got walls, so you, you're in, you're a space within a space. The higher up, the less this is the dense to you, but the higher up you is, it's space within space. So it's it's walls that spirits have that they can't go through. That to you it just look like it's all space, but to them it's, it's less dense physical things that's there. You see what I'm saying? And once you once you reach the highest. You reach the highest space. Once you reach the highest space, then you can see space as all space. But you in a fucking body. <laughs> you know how many realms are Just look at the number system, right? You got to count up billions and trillions. You guys are able to count up billions and trillions of numbers. So you guys are billions and trillions dimensions under. See what I'm saying? I've been in realms of realities where, where we, only, we can use one number if we please. And, and that's a large amount of currency that we could bring into some type of density up there. But, you know, this that's just to give you the, the actual... A, a situation is a circumstance. It's, it's, and it's a space. So when, when, I'm, when I'm saying it's spaces within spaces, when you open up your third eye and start to get consciously aware, you start to realize, oh, that's how 
that's how he came to the conclusion of seeing in the first place that there's spaces within spaces. And you have to be consciously high enough to understand like, oh, and after a while, you know, you can't, you're not going to be able to see it with these two duality eyes. You're only going to be able to see it with your one eye, your first eye, your third eye. This is something you realize. And once you dive into that realm long enough, things start to appear the same anyway. You just can see it on a higher spectrum. See what I'm saying? So it's spaces within spaces. So be careful of applying yourself with other people's situations. You see what I'm saying? Other people's circumstances. Other people's circles. Other people's realms of realities. Other people's orbs. You see what I'm saying? Because when you evolve your orb with someone else's orb, you get you get in someone else's space. So you start to experience someone else's timelines, someone else's events, someone else's experiences. And you even start to vibrate with them to the point that your orb become their orb to the point that you'd be guilty by association. To the point that wherever you go, you're, you're looked at with the same energy of the person you applied yourself with. So if that person did something negative, a, a, a person that you could be by yourself somewhere, a group of people or people will look at you the same way. Oh, this person, that person be with this person. Oh, I, I know what they're about. You see what I'm saying? It goes deep. Be careful. Be careful attaching your situation. Be careful attack, attaching your circle. Be careful attaching your orb. Be careful attaching your 360. You know what I'm saying? So you can have a clean, a clean 360. You can have room and space. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your house stay clean. Flight boss, bitch. Goddamn. Here.